What's up? She wasn't able to make it just through a friggin' alarm. Alright, yeah. we, we, we should like. Yeah, let's go. We should do it. So I hope it. I'll help you kill you some time. I'll take whatever. Next, I don't care. Yeah? No, I'll take one. That way you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take one. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're uh, about to do a slaughterhouse protest. There is a, yeah, I think they're about to, uh, they're about to, like, check us out and see what's going on. We should, let's do it. Alright, you ready? Alright, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My boy's vegan, so he's gonna fucking love me. Alright. Yeah, you vegan yet? <laughs> no, I stopped eating cow milk. Hey. You gonna, you, someday you wanna stop being an animal abuser? Oh, we're in a public area, so don't know you're gonna do So. Oh, he said his friend, his friend's a vegan, so. Are you guys ready? So are we are we chanting? Are we ready? Here we go. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Come on up, everybody's attention, please. We are here to stand against the hellhole behind you. No disaster, no Make some sense. Let's stand against the hellhole behind you. No disaster, no We believe in you. We believe that you have compassion in your heart and that if you look upon what happens to these animals, you'll know that it is wrong. You'll know that you don't want to contribute to it anymore. We'll know that you want to live in a compassionate way and live a vegan lifestyle. It's not hard, you can just say no. There's plant-based options at every restaurant, at every grocery store. We're very fortunate to live in America where this is a prominent way of life now. You can have a plant-based meal anywhere you go. You don't have to contribute to unnecessary pain, rape, murder, torture, and suffering of animals. Here, Chip. Animals feel pain. Just like us. Animals have emotions. Just like us. Animals love their families. Just like us. Animals cry. Just like us. Animals want to live. Just like us. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. Humane slaughter is a lie. Humane slaughter is a lie. It's not food. It's violence. 
It's not food. Animals feel pain. Animals want to live. Animals have emotions. Animals love their children. Animals cry. Animals want to live. It's not food. It's not food. It's not food. Humane slaughter is a lie. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. We know that you have the compassion in your heart to stop eating animals, to stop killing animals. Would you want to slide a knife into an animal's throat? Would most of you want to slide a knife into an animal's throat? Most of you wouldn't. There are a few psychopaths in the audience maybe, but most of you would not want to participate in that. Most of you would not want to shove your arm up a cow's butt. Most of you would not want to hurt all the animals that you eat. You pay someone else to do it. You pay someone else to do it. Would you pay a hitman to kill someone? Is that okay? Yeah. You don't consider that okay. Most of you don't. There are a few sociopaths out there that do, but most of you think it is wrong. You don't know what you're contributing to, and we know that you will stop once you look at the footage and see what's going on. It's not food. It's not food. It's not food. Humane slaughter is a lie. Humane slaughter is a lie. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals feel pain. Animals have emotions. Animals love their children. Animals want to live. Animals cry. Animals want to survive. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane slaughter is a lie. Animals do not want to die. Humane slaughter is a lie. It's not food. It's not food. It's not food. Can you talk to me for a second? Right. We've had this conversation before. You're not allowed to use the bullhorn, and you're not allowed to be in the plaza. You can be in the common areas. the volume on that, Nick. He's got an adjustable volume. It needs to be, to be off volume. It needs to be off volume? Yes, do, we have a, do you guys have a decibel reader? I think we were told, uh, what was it, 1697? It was 65 decibel? Sorry, hold on. Unamplified. Unamplified, but unamplified. That's an amplifier. Correct. Unamplified. So, so it doesn't apply to amplified sound, 65 decibels. Uh, ask, uh, just to understand better. I'm so, telling you, you're not allowed to use. Okay. And I've, and I've already explained this to you. No, the I wasn't. Last time you uh, it. So this was time, I the one leading chance? Was I, was I the one using it? Well, it's kind of hard to recognize that one. Was I the one using it? So just you were on camera last time, me telling you that if you use that, you were getting you're getting the right. Song. And I was no. I wasn't so using you know it. Not to use. Was I using it? No, I was not using it. This young man here was using it. Correct. He was, he's unaware of the you're rule. Very, you're a very clever person. Uh, not clever. I just, I just try to understand it as best I can. That's all. Okay. And the secondary issue is, you're not allowed to be in the plaza. Okay. Okay. But you've been explaining to it already once. Okay. It's not my event, but uh, yeah, again, guys, I guess we're not allowed here. We're going to have to take a step out to Atwell. And, and you're also not allowed to have any direct contact with the customers because at that point, it's That's a disorderly right. conduct. Yep. No, right. wait, what about them? You, can, you cannot swearing harass the customers. customers. You cannot. What about, what about them swearing at us, harassing us, and mining our business? We'll, we'll, we'll take notice uh, of who I would hardly consider this mining your business. Oh, well, no, no, we'll take we're notice just, of who it is. We're just having a peaceful protest. Yeah, I agree with that. But you guys know the rules. You were here last time. We know the rules. Somebody, one of us said next one at our face last time. Uh, but here's the thing, though. If you know the rules and you still come back over here, you're not following. We're not trying to harass you. We're not trying to have any contact with you. So we've had this conversation how many times? Are we having any contact with us? No, we you don't have any. You can see what's going on here is that the order followers protect animal abusers. Uh, we live in a society of criminals. We live in a society of tyranny. We live in a society of pain and violence. 
uh, they try and sweep it under the rug because they try and keep it in the back room. They try and hide what goes on in a slaughterhouse from people. But it's right here. It's happening in the back room of this building. And these order followers are here to try and protect the criminals. They are the tyranny. You know, uh, in Nuremberg trials, the Nazis said they were just following orders. That's precisely what these people are doing. They are no better than the Nazis that enslaved, uh, you know, millions of people in concentration camps. And you can see that there is a lot of apathetic people here. There's also a lot of sympathetic people here that don't realize what they're contributing to, that don't realize really what happens to an animal and would never have the guts to do to animals what they pay for to be done to animals. So, you know, th this is important to for everyone to take action and everyone to notice what's going on, the way that people react to the violence that they contribute to. Antonelli's! 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 Just like it was the last time we spoke to you. No, the last time it was open. They, they had traffic going back down here. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have them back up. It's not food! It's violence! It's not food! It's violence! It's not food! It's violence! You made slaughter is a lie! love their family. Just like us. Animals want to live. Just like us. Animals have emotion. Just like us. Animals cry. Just like us. Animals feel pain. Just like us. Humane slaughter is a lie. Humane slaughter is a lie. It's not food. It's not food. It's not food. It's not food. Animals feel pain. Animals want to live. Animals love their families. Animals have emotions. Humane slaughter is a lie. Humane slaughter is a lie. Humane slaughter is a lie. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. It's not food. It's violence. Animals feel pain. Just, Just like, like us. us. Animals suffer. Just like us. Animals want to live. Just, Just like, like us. us. Just like us. Who is the gentleman? Mike? Just like us. Who is the gentleman that we put? Wow. Anthony Ali must be thinking you guys are hard about it. Oh, uh, they're just part of the same carnist indoctrination as everyone else. They're supporting it out. Keep moving, please. See, the Karnas are in power. Evil is in power. Until we can change enough people's minds, until we can teach morality to the masses, this is going to keep happening. You're going to keep having the order followers, the boys in blue, protecting criminals, protecting evil, because they have all been indoctrinated into evil. This is a satanic society. This is a satanic society. And until people learn what morality is, what natural law is, what a right is, what a wrong is, this is going to keep happening. We need to reach a tipping point. The aggregate of society has to act morally before we get enough people to outnumber the order followers. Shut them down! Shut them down! Antonelli, shame on you! Antonelli, shame on you! Antonelli, shame on you! 
Not hours! Not hours! Not hours! Animals do not want to die! Animals do not want to die! Just like us! Just like us! Putting on my rain jacket right now. It's starting to rain. But, you know, they try and keep, say we have to keep moving. Basically, we can't stand still, so we have to pace back and forth. Um, you know, this is sort of a, uh, a strange law that they're trying to enforce. It's like a mockery, in a sense. Uh, the way, it's a way that they can mock us and say it like, you know, just try and basically make it as, as difficult as they can because they view us as the enemy and they want it to be hard for the enemy to, uh, to continue the protests, right? Um, these people, a lot of these cops, they go home and they eat animals. A lot of them don't slaughter animals, uh, but they think it's okay. A lot of them probably wouldn't want to slaughter animals, uh, but they want to support the people that do. It's like supporting a hitman. You know, when you vote for a president that, you know, gives an order to, uh, you know, drop a bunch of bombs on innocent civilians in the hopes that it's going to kill one uh, potential quote-unquote bad guy, it's the same thing. We have a society that condones hitmen. It's actually uh, something that is, um, you know, they, they, they praise it in Hollywood. You know, we, we glorify hitmen in Hollywood with all the mafia movies we like to watch. Which they're kind of like heroes to a lot of people. You know, The Sopranos is a lot of people's favorite show. Um, so it's like, this is, going to be the, this is going to be the norm until enough people wake up. And every bit of activism that we can do is going to help. Every bit of activism that we participate in to take down the control system, to stop order followers, to show people morality, to show people uh, that the satanic society that exists before us. Antonelli, shame on you! Not hours! Not hours!